time numbers for the Flames. And he'll wave and miss, and we're underway. Each guy, a little bit of confidence as well. And Wallace will hit one hard off the glove of the diving shortstop Nagel back, and that's how this game begins. Wallace with a huge turnaround first will slam on the brakes and settle for his 14th hit of the year. Here is Lanzilli. He's going to send one back up the middle. That's a base hit. Wallace will turn third and score the game's first run as Lanzilli picks up another RBI. And it's 1-0. Razorbacks. David. Hit well to left field. Back goes Rosario, circling near the track, and he'll extend and make the catch to end the inning. There's a free base runner. It's about as easy of a take for Zach Gregory he's going to see all season. Wichita State. Wallace bunted the high one. Does he have himself a hit? My goodness, he does. He bunted a pitch at his eyes. <laughs> he couldn't have rolled it out there any better with the result. Moore will square, and that one came so far in. Did it hit his hand or the bat? Moore saying it hit his hand. Our plate umpire, Chris Koski, said it hit the bat. Drill to center. This will drop for a base hit. Wallace around third. He is going to score. It's a two-run single from Michael Turner. And the Hawks have jumped their lead up to 3 to nothing. RBI is the 11 and 12 for Turner. He's had quite a week. To Brady Slavens, here it comes. Rip towards right. This ball is going to go to the fence. It's going to score two. And Slavens, with a wide turnaround second base, will hold with a two-run double. And the Hawks have blown this game open. It's a four-run inning. Here's the payoff. Lifted to left center field. Rosario turning and running. That ball is gone. It ends up in shallow center. Hit off the railing in front of the hog pen. Jalen Battles has his third of the year. What a big inning. It's a six run, sixth for the Hogs. He left that one up, and it was hit hard. Two, two, two. Lanzilli will have to take it on a bounce, and Khan is going to have himself a leadoff double in the seventh inning. That is just the second hit by the Flames in the game. D wore that one. That was a thud. <laughs> we hit him up on the shoulder. Heard it up here in the booth. And that one is smoked, and it's fair, and it's into the corner. First runs of the game coming home for the Flames. D around third is going to try and make it a two-run double, and he will. It's a 7-2 game. Corey Moore delivers. Hard hit under the glove of Stovall. And this will chase home another run. Moore will score. Con to second base. All of a sudden, it's a 7-3 game. Off and running is Con. A ground ball sends battles to his right. A bit of a stumble, but he'll straighten and throw. And Stovall picked it out of the dirt. Sock towards right, dropping for a base hit. Zach Gregory doing what he has done, just finding different ways to get on base. Smoke to right center. That's another base hit from Turner. Gregory will turn third and score. Turner's knocked home three. And it's an 8-3 racer back lead. Each of the starters threw exactly 100. Little soft bloop. That'll find some grass in center by Lanzilli. His second hit in three at bats. Turner got a little bit uh, gumption trying to get to third, and he's going to be cut down. He was trying to run first to third on that bloop single. That did not work out. Did a two-run double, part of that six-run sixth inning. That ball lifted in the air. Deep right field. That one's going to go. Brady Slavens connects for a second home run of the season. Hawks have reached double figures as a team, and they're trying to pull away late in this one from the Flames. Arkansas up to 10 hits and eight runs. Chopper to third. 
Jalen Battles will have an infield base hit, so his second hit of the game. Stovall hits a flare towards center. D coming in, won't get there. Base hit. Remember, Arkansas went through a stretch for four innings where they did not have a single base run. That one is launched. A laser beam to the bullpen, and it is gone. Caden Wallace caps a three-hit game with his first home run of the season. And things traveling in threes today. The third long ball, and the Hawks have blown this game open. Brett, you can just kind of feel it coming. And the payoff. It's a base runner. Good at bat by James Harris. Batters. And he ends up walking McCarthy on four pitches. Here comes the payoff, and that is outside. That is ball four. So three straight walks to begin this ninth inning. One and two to count. Did he clip him? He did. Khan gets a second RBI of the game. That a base is loaded hit by pitch. The Flames have scored a run without a hit here in the ninth. Little tapper in front of the plate. Plyman will come down, scoop and flip to Turner. How about that for a one-two out to end the game? Wanted to give us a few seconds to finish our thoughts. A 60-degree afternoon for game two, and we're off and rolling. Plates to great baseball players. There is ball four, and one recipe for this Flames team to get something going offensively is free base runners. Off goes Khan. Good pitch to handle for Leach. His throws online, but not in time. Turner had a similar throw in game one. It was pretty much right on the bag. Today and Sunday. In the air to center. Gregory comes charging in. He got a late break, and he's not going to get there. My God, that ball was up there a long, long time for somebody not to catch it. Yeah, I think Robert Moore really gave up on that ball early. I think he thought it was going to carry out to the outfit in the ball game. Ryan Nagel back to shortstop, a check swing dribbler towards second. This will score a run. Moore has time to check second. He'll throw out the flame shortstop, but UIC scores first on a check swing ground ball, scoring Clay Kahn, who had walked. Harris, here's the payoff, a little chopper to third. Wallace able to make that play, throw out James Harris, and end the top of the first inning. Again, a lot of those pitchers get a lot of routine. That one lined to right. Slavin's back looking up, plays that ball off the fence. A good throw might have a chance to get Rosario. It's not bad, but it's not in time. That's a double for Rosario off the chain link fence in front of the bullpen to begin this fourth inning. Shorter rest. Wild pitch will provide a free base. Hit hard down the line and right. That's a fair ball, so he does come back to get the Hogs with what'll be. A run scoring double, then it gets by Slavin. So Khan isn't going to stop at second base. He'll go all the way to third, and UIC owns a 2 0 lead. I know he's hitting 125, but this is a. Turner going far to his right will smother it. Flips to Ramage, covering that will end the inning, but the Flames and not fall down. Nagelbach drives one to right field. This ball's hit well. It's got a chance. It's gone. A solo homer to right center. Nagelbach has jumped the Flames lead up to three to nothing. First hit, first run against Cole Ramage here this afternoon. At first instead of second and third. As Kendall Diggs walks to begin the inning. Ball gets away and Zach Gregory will move up on what'll be an error. 3-1 pitch, a smoke to the gap. That ball's down. It's going to produce the first Razorback run. A long single by Stovall. But the Razorbacks are finally on the board, six innings in. Smoke to third and caught by Nowick. A rocket, but an out. Hawks get on the board for the first time today. Players drafted, but... Maybe we just don't have the resource to help this young man, with the exception of a guy like Curtis Granderson, and he will. 
Off and rolling is Khan. That throw in close. Battles did a great job just to catch it. Another running start. Running start. And that's through for a base hit. Khan will score easily. And the Flames have their three-run lead back. Four to one, UIC. Again, look how big that stolen base was by Khan. Lineup. There goes D. Right to Battles. That's an easy double play. Hit them where they ain't is a big part of this game. No, it didn't do that. All right, so that's a hit batter. Arkansas today has been walked nine times, and that's their second hit by pitch. Trying to win game two. That's in. It was a pretty similar pitch to two prior when I thought that could have been a strike, but it wasn't called. Payoff pitch to Battles. Hogs are in danger of maybe hitting into their third double play. But Battle's able to beat it. Oh. Hard hit and fair. It's into the corner. This will score one and maybe more. Battles will go to third base. He runs through the stop sign. Now Nate Thompson saying score, but he had slammed on the brakes. Stop, go, stop, go. But the last two goes, Jalen Battles didn't hear. When the throw got away, Nate Thompson tried to send him. Then he tried to send him again. It'll go to the backstop. Battles has to hurry. He'll go in with the dive, and he's safe. And that was a close play at the plate. In with the head first dive. It's a one-run game, and Gregory's 90 feet away. Hard hit, base hit, tie game. Stovall's had a couple of huge hits for a contest that he didn't even start. And the Hawks have come from three down, and this one's even at four apiece. Base hit left field. Here come the Hogs. Stovall will advance to second. There's still only one out this inning. Win Bill. Soft flare headed to right center. Base hit. And the Hogs have their first lead of game two. It's Turner delivering again. Chasing home Stovall. And it's a 5-4 Razor back advantage. And that will end a very busy eighth inning. Check swing foul ball by Moore. I think, I think it hit, hit his hand. I hit him above the hands, I think. One two pitch to D. Breaking ball, strike three. And the Hawks come from three down to win the game, and they sweep the doubleheader over the UIC Flames.